Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. So today we are going to cover the topic which is access modifiers. So in Java we have basically four types of access modifiers: private, default, protected, and public. So this is a code snippet. Here is an example of a default access modifier being used because default modifier does not need a keyword to be explained before uh, you are initializing any particular or declaring any particular string. So if you want to make this particular animal name private, you have to just use private string animal name equals to mouse. So this is how you use access modifiers. And why do we use access modifiers to manage the visibility of these variables in particular classes? So if you if you make a particular variable private, then the presence of that variable animal name remains only in only in that class and nowhere else, even if it is a subclass. or even if it is present in the same package it does not extend the presence to any of these classes apart from the same class in which it is being declared or initialized if it is default then the visibility of animal name remains in only that package and if you go outside that package the the particular animal name becomes invisible and compile time error will happen to you the third one is protected so the presence and visibility of that animal name if made as protected will remain in that particular package also but also extends to all those classes being in same or different packages who are actually the subclasses of that class in which this particular variable is defined difficult to understand don't worry i'll explain it in an animation in the next slide don't worry in the public Uh, access modifiers the presence remains everywhere that is the complete project scope becomes the visibility area of this animal name so let's see this with an example first so suppose this whole is my project scope then my public access modifiers can work here so if i have a mouse variable that variable is accessible all over the project scope and just not in particular class or particular subclass now if i have a package scope that is i i have a project i have multiple packages so if there is a particular default access modifier used with my variable mouse then only uh, that particular package scope classes can access my variable mouse and all the other packages available in project scope but not in the package scope all those classes will not be able to access my mouse the third scope comes as the private or class level scope so if a variable is defined as private then my mouse is available to only the complete class and not even to the class present in the same packages so this is very far the public access modifiers can have this default access modifiers have this private modifiers have just in the class it is not accessible in the package it is not accessible in the project now the third one is the def the protected scope so what happens with the protected scope is that i have a sub class which is present in another package then if i have a particular variable defined then that particular variable is not only available in that package scope but also available in this class that is a sub class but not available to the other classes which are not the sub classes of this particular class in which my particular variable is defined so this is how your scopes define your variables accessibility or visibility in a particular project so that's all about how theoretically i can explain you in the next video i'll show you in a example and a programmatic way see you in the next lecture thank you